Hi, welcome to my second layout for March. This is for the March 7th Tuesday tutorial at Citrus Twist Kits. And I'm showing you how I've typed my journaling on the bottom portion of the page. And that's a photo that I'm going to use. There's two photos. And what I did in order to conserve ink, since I print my photos at home, I just used a cropping mask and a clipping mask in Photoshop to create the circle at the same size as my circle punch. So those are two inch photos and that's a two inch paper punch. Here I'm just showing you the papers I use for this the, from the March kit and this is using the March main kit, the main scrapbook kit called Oliver. And I have pencil lines drawn down the side of the page so that I could keep the margins the same on both sides. Since this is a pretty clean and simple layout, I didn't want it to be askew because you would really notice it more. So that's why I have the pencil lines and I'll end up erasing those, of course, before I take the final photos. So I'm putting two photos at, at the top and the center circle is the pattern paper obviously and then I'll put two pattern paper and one circle for the title in the middle. So that middle circle with the arrows I wanted to keep it pretty neutral since my title is going to be black script. I was trying to orient that properly so that it uh, faces towards the inner, inner part of the page. And you'll also notice that I have a little pencil line above my journaling and that's going to be where I'm going to cut off the top of that chamel packaging uh, of the enamel dots that I have to the left of the page here on my desk. I'm going to cut off the portion of the packaging that has that floral print at the top since I really like that and it kind of it um, connects all the colors, separate colors that I have on the layout. And here I'm using the freckled fawn foam uh, words out of the March kit and I really like this handwriting. The font that they made it in is really nice. So that'll be the title and see this is where I decide that I really like the way that packaging pattern looks. And then I'm going to use the hearts off of here just to accent some of the pattern paper circles. I'll use the gold enamel dots. Since there's a lot of color on the page, I'm going to basically use embellishments that are neutral, so the black and gold. So I place this down and I notice there's a little divot cut out where the hang packaging would be to hang the package on 
for display and so I'm going to use one of the foam hearts from the freckle fawn foam words and I'll just stick that over so you can't see that little circle cut out so that ends up I have three little foam hearts on the page and then I'll go about adding the rest of the enamel dots and I don't show it on camera but I end up zigzag stitching so I really like to add stitching I was thinking about stitching around the pattern paper and the photos but I didn't want it I can't really circle stitch that well unless I of course I could have just hand stitched it but this was much much quicker so I just end up zigzag stitching and this is the cut apart sheet here I wanted to see if I could add anything at the bottom to sort of ground the layout although I it looks fine in the video like this I could have left it like this I just wanted to add some extra pattern paper from the kit to tie in the three colors on the layout together I'm just trying to figure out which way to orient the stripes kind of wish they were pointing vertically but it's okay that they're horizontal but I still wanted to get all three colors in there <laughs> I'm just gonna keep turning it around and trying to decide how I how I could get all three of the pink yellow and green colors in there I could have just trimmed down the white sheet but here I'm showing the stitching the finished part I just zigzag stitched in three places across the layout and then I trimmed this bottom portion and I'm gonna I'll hear that and then the layout's basically done thank you for joining me for the Tuesday tutorial and I have a couple still shots at the end here thanks bye bye mm -hmm.